welcome back to another video so in this video i will be telling you guys about the costs behind my trip to johannesburg um yeah i'll detail everything you need to know so you might want to get yourself a notebook and a drink what are you having today oh man a juice and a little bit of that on became my drink <laughs> it's also okay let's get into it all right guys so obviously the last the previous two vlogs were about my trip to Joburg, and i went with my friend who you guys already know on this channel and you have been harassing us so the book came to me the other day and she was like dish and i'm like hey she's like so i'm in town minding my own business then this girl comes and says hi to book and she's like hi and obviously she's confused because she doesn't know like who this person is and then she's like um are you going to see deshi and she's like no and then she's like oh is she not vlogging today and i'm just like shame you guys are so sweet even my little sister in delhi like she's also been complaining well not complaining but she's always like did she use subscribers so always see me and them and they're saying hi i'm like well just say hi back it's sick guys you guys are so sweet thank you so much and i will i will say it again Thank you for always seeing me in town and actually saying hi. Today, well, today's Sunday, I'll put down the dates. I was in the mall. Um, I was a perennial. Venom has actually sponsored me because I keep talking about this place like it's even um, paying me some dollars. Anyway, so I was in perennial. I uh, went for a meeting. So we get out of Mug and Bean and this subscriber says, Hi, Deshi. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know who I was talking to, but I knew it was YouTube. Because a lot of people that follow me on, on my Instagram call me Envy. And then a lot of you that follow me here on YouTube call me Deshi. So every time someone is like, Deshi, I'm like, YouTube. Must be YouTube. So yeah, I was creating content for a client. That's why I look pretty. Like you guys even know, like I will never come on this camera like this. Are you, are you stupid? because you are dumb <laughs> anyways i have my notebook here i wrote down a few things you guys need to know so let's start with flights Tupo and i um bought our tickets early last late last year we bought it in november it wasn't a black friday special i actually wish we bought it on black friday because if you are like me and you like money you will go back and check how much you bought it for and how much it is when like black friday happened and there was a huge difference huge difference being a hundred dollars so i don't know if that's huge but like that's a lot of money for me so um i would advise that you guys buy your tickets earlier um it is honestly cheaper because when we checked in january they were very expensive um so our tickets per person i'll speak for myself no let me just get the page uh, we both spent four thousand one hundred and seven namibian dollars that was for each ticket a return bought it in november so i don't know if that's expensive but i kind of feel like that's cheap because that's basically like 2050 something to go in to come back so i don't know i just feel like that it's cheap um accommodation a lot of you guys were asking me about the accommodation a lot of you guys being only two people i don't you know these youtubers who they come here and say well guys you've been asking no one's been asking well a few of you okay a few of you have been asking like where are the place is what's the place's name how i got it so i was on google i was on dr google and mm, i'm having mozoe guys i feel like this is the best oros in the world it's the best it just tastes amazing so i was on google searching for a hotel cheap affordable hotels close to santon because we wanted to stay in santon or around so the reason why we booked a hotel and not an airbnb because obviously there's an angola in the background saying like um you why did you spend so much money on a camera listen let me explain so tubo and i decided that we are going to do a hotel because it was our first time in Joburg together and we also felt like it would be safer to go to a hotel than it would be to an Airbnb. Obviously, the things we hear about Jovic is not so sweet. So are we stupid for staying in an Airbnb so we get hijacked? No. 
So we decided we're gonna stay in a hotel. We didn't even know that this hotel was literally two seconds away from like a mall. So I checked the reviews. I loved it. I think the this the we paid two thousand seven hundred and ten per person for four nights, and that includes breakfast. So I I don't know. I feel like that's a bargain. It could have been cheaper, obviously, because there were Airbnbs that I was checking out that were like. 800 a thousand for four nights but i was like yo guys we're in the heart of criminology what if this landlord or whatever decides to organize like a small nyana ah, you guys i wasn't going to take that risk um so i projected my fears to my friend and she agreed so we yeah. also spent a couple of million dollars on a shuttle so when we landed we chose to go to get picked up by a shuttle because we just felt like it was safer now i'm going to emphasize a lot on safety because guys like if you know me you know i'm scared about anything anything like this i just i just fear for my life so i just felt like okay yeah shop uber safe but let's rather get like a shuttle from the hotel to pick us up because then we know ucha or besoye ya itu uh, it's best to call Wiza as a damn name to the hotel. Hmm? Meaning there won't be any, you know, any. So I don't know. I just felt safer in a shuttle sent by the hotel than I felt safer in a Uber. We paid 680 for two. Pick us up, drop us off. Shut. Let me tell you something. Uber is expensive. Guys, we spent so much money. So remember, they don't have the taxis we have where you just pay like $15, $26 if they're mad. This, guys, I remember we're going to News Cafe, right? And News Cafe's distance from the hotel is, say, for instance, if you're from Venduk, let's say, for instance, you're coming from Vernil and you are going to KFC. See how close that is? Like guys, from that point to that point, we paid 50 rands. Are you crazy? That's how much we paid. We paid 50 rands to get from that point to that point and back, I think. Yeah, back. So in a night, we spent 100. But it's fine. The Lord will provide. Uh, so yeah, we you you actually get used to looking at amounts and thinking they're cheap. For instance, when you see like an Uber that's like 50 rands, you're like, okay, this is really cheap. So you change and shift your mindset to come to a, a mindset of a rich girl. Uh, yeah, so we spend a lot on Uber because like we would go even like to the mall. So I showed you guys in my vlog that you could take like the stairs that you could take to get into Nelson Mandela Square. But remember, if we got there late and it got dark, we couldn't take the stairs back because again, we are scared for our Nalanguenyas. So we would Uber back and the distance honestly from the mall to where we were staying. Okay. If you're from Rundu, let me stop being gay. Let me stop this favoritism. If you're from Rundu, the distance is um so say for instance we are at the new mall and the okay, so the hotel is at the new mall and she and then where the mall is is by legit but not the legit in the new mall it's the legit by the hospital the one close to the hospital like that's the distance it's still not far like you can literally walk but that's not how i get trafficked for free so yeah we spend a lot on uber i have here how much because we we split it in half so we spent around a thousand five hundred ish so i lied about the two thousand it wasn't two thousand exaggerating <laughs> um and then the food so what we did was we had an experience okay so if you ever go sleep at this place it's called um sky hotel santon hotel sky hotel santon hotel sky santon oh no hotel sky santon <laughs> the food in this one restaurant it's called eclipse is up but you guys know what i'm talking about because you saw the vlog it's amazing hey you know when you eat and then their throat is even sliding the things is going into the bleep. <laughs> that was unnecessary no that was unnecessary oh my god can you grow up anyways 
guys the chef the the food was amazing so the first night we had food we had it there we also had um mcdonald's and it's just a burger like i don't know why and i will never understand the hype behind it um yeah had that you guys saw the prices because i did vlog that and then we had the dinner i think the bill was around 600 um and then we had takeout because obviously we went on a budget and we spent most of our money on clothes now let me tell you something when i left this window i told myself Ucha, i want to spend at least at least 15 tau on the accommodation on the um flights on the food on the activities do you know how much i spent do you know how much i spent i spent over 25k in fact i think i even spent over 30,000. i don't know how we got there the lord is my shepherd because i shall not want the temptation found against me in the dark in the valley of the shadow of death i don't know that's how much i spent and i came back and i was looking at the things that i had bought and i was just like how did we get here but again i told you guys every time you see me wear the things i bought in zara you must compliment me because yo. so all in all i spent on clothes i spent around five thousand i think and that includes the perfumes that i got for my people and um the clothes and the shoes that i only realized later that one was actually bigger than the other also please comment down below where can i actually get it made smaller if you know please let me know um on makeup products i spent around seven thousand um and the activities that we did we only actually did the red bus if you ever go to any country i honestly would recommend that you do the red bus if they have one because had we not done that red city tour bus the only image we would have of Joburg is the hotel and the mall that's that's it and maybe the road to the airport it helped so much because we got to see we got to see places even for, and for and, and and for instance so when you go to this place you go to rosebank right and rosebank is like i want to say it's like a mall area place with like a lot of things going on there are shops there are restaurants there as well um yeah so like had we not gone for this thing we wouldn't even have known that there is a rosebank that looks like that looks like that the other thing i want you guys to please keep in mind if you ever go anywhere uber does not have wi-fi or at least the ubers we went in did not have wi-fi so most of the time you are waiting for the phone of the driver to say in a hundred meters turn right guys when i tell you i had a bible verse for every trip i took i was just like because obviously you don't know where you're going you've never been to this place before you are just getting inside i remember we were going to morningside once let me take a break we're going to Morningside and that was the first time we went to Morningside. So this person took a route um, and we got to where we were going. So I was like, because I remember the first thing my aunt told me when I moved to Vendor for university was, Shiveli, and it's my Bushe. She's like, Shiveli, if you want to get to know Vendor faster, know your streets. Like know your street names because usually it connects, especially the main streets. Sharp. So when we went there, I was trying to okay this is what what avenue okay this is what okay okay and then i'll see like something familiar like a service station uh, and they call it a garage we'll talk about the the language later so i'll be like okay when we drove this way we took this way and we saw that there is a service station and then you like i just honestly for i think for my safety i felt the need to memorize certain things because you don't know where you're going Shop. Second time we go to Morningside, the driver took another route. And that one was actually shorter than the first one that we took. And I remember thinking, ah, now why did the other one take this way? So I was like, okay, you go this way, you go this, then there's this building, then there's this, okay, sharp, okay, okay. 
the last time we went to Morningside, the, the driver had taken a different route. And this man did not look like convincing that he was not a... He just looked dodgy. I asked this man, I was like, we are going to... And I feel like that, had he been someone trying to kidnap us, that would have been the perfect time because... So these girls don't know where they're going. Because I was like, we are going to Morningside, right? And he's like, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, sharp. We went, we went, we arrived. South African people are not so friendly. They mind their because they, I feel like we do the most. As as Namibian people, we are overly friendly, overly giving, overly smiley. Like, why are you smiling from afar with someone that is working mind your own business? The Uber drivers will always start a conversation with you if you provoke a conversation or if you start the conversation. The people in the street will just look at you and mind their own business and drink their water. The guards, guys, and, and I come from a place where, and, and I think that's a problem because we were two, right? I'm the friendly one. I'm the one that will start a conversation about Oros. I will be like, ah, this Oros is very uh, yellow. <laughs> Tupo, on the other hand, she is more, you know, quiet. Uh, she only speaks when she's comfortable. And the whole time, you know, starting my conversations with people because that's how I... I don't want to say that's how I get comfortable, but I want to say that's how I almost, like, create some sense of friendship so that people don't think anything beyond anything and kidnap us. So I remember that's a point to go. And I had to vlog because I was creating content. She was like, Ndeshi, can you stop vlogging? I'm like, my friend, there's no way I can stop vlogging because I need to create the content. And there was a the, like the stairs to go into that place. As you could see, there was no movement much. So there was like a stranger person sitting, I think the were a homeless person sitting in some corner. And I'm there with my phone. And Tupo was giving me the bombastic side eye. And I'm just like, well, I don't want to seem like I'm scared, but I'm scared chap eventually got over that got into the mall you must be extra vigilante you must be extra vigilant you must look at your surrounds in and you must make sure <laughs> I, you just have to have like your fourth eye needs to be or is it fourth or third eye the eye that is here the third one the, the forehead eye must be because you just you cannot trust anybody short story time so when we arrived Deshi being Deshi, hi, how are you? My, I'm from the, oh, what's your name? Uh, 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 to the um, receptionist. Then we get to the room and we, are, we arrived at the, at the hotel around one-ish, two-ish. So we didn't know what time the red bus um, does its thing. So my sister had called me and she was like, you guys have to do it because that's the only way you really experience the place. Shop. Then she's like, no, just go down to reception and ask like, if they can call the, the the office and see if there's a bus available so you guys can go on i go downstairs i ask the receptionist and she's like oh uh she tries to call and it doesn't go through then she says oh but i know someone that does private tours guys when we arrived there was a man sitting in a corner minding his own business i honestly thought he was like one of the guests this lady takes me to this man and says oh how far now And then I was like, ah, it's even plastic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, so he's Nigerian. Already my, the red flags, I think I even mentioned this thing in the video. My flags were going. Dee, 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 dee. And then she's like, no, he does tours. And I was just like, okay, why is he just here? Like, like it's as if he knew that there'll be, I don't know. It was just weird for me like why do you do private tours and you are readily available at a hotel that you don't work for so he was like no we can do you why where do you guys want to go i was like oh we want to go here here but obviously at the back of my head i knew that we would not do that because the point and i are tiny this guy could do anything to us and traffic us i don't know why i think nigerian men would do that but i'm just saying i did not feel safe about that situation so in what i'm trying to say is you can't trust anyone no one is out for you my darling everyone is out for themselves and they will do whatever benefits them i don't know i 
I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't trust that. So what else didn't I tell you guys? Um, oh yeah, the convenience of, of, of SA, you guys, is everything is literally on your phone. Your food is on your phone. Your transport is on your phone. Your entertainment is on your phone. I'm just kidding. But they, you can order a meal on your phone. Here you can, but like, I don't know. I just feel like we're very behind with a lot of things. So in total, total, I honestly feel like I spent around uh, around thirty thousand. If I'm if I'm very honest with you, including me, every other thing that I did, um, yeah, that it's it's around that amount. For my next trip, I'll probably be a bit more responsibility with my coins and probably not spend so much. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that's pretty much it you guys what else didn't i tell you i feel like i told you everything you need to know to plan your trip is i really hope you guys like this video i'm hoping it is short because i don't want like whatever minutes on this video i'll see you guys in the next video bye